Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Here's what we got going on today. So almost four years ago, I bought a 2000 Toyota Celica GTS as a beater car. I paid less than $1,000 for it. It had 178,000 miles on it, six speed manual, awesome car. Everything worked, everything is fantastic. Now we're approaching 242,000 miles and it still works great. There's a few electrical hiccups in it. Um, you can actually check one of my previous videos that I did, uh, the air conditioning hack fix on um, the Celica and see what I did there. But anywho, here's what we're working with today. Um, so my windshield wipers, I could be driving down the road and they will just come on. They don't, uh, you can't shut them off. The stock doesn't do anything. Um, I originally thought that it might have an issue to do with the stock itself because uh, the wipers were kind of had they had a mind of their own and the front uh, washer fluid wouldn't spray out. So I thought the first thing, you know, it, it's the car is not really worth spending that much time and money into. And I bought a new switch here, new stock, thinking that the stock itself had the issue since everything was. Uh, my wipers were intermittently acting up and the pisser fluid wasn't working. So I thought, you know, what controls both of those? So I bought a new one of these. eBay, it was used, it was like 20 bucks. And uh, it did not fix the problem. So, uh, first thing I did was I can't stand not having wiper fluid up front. It's because especially this time of year, Northeast Pennsylvania, uh, the roads are wet, they're slushy, you got... You, cars in front of you the kick and spray up on your windshield and without windshield washer fluid uh, you can't see and your wipers will just smear everything and it's it's not a good situation so I got the car inspected a couple months ago and I had to have washer fluid up front so I didn't have time to you know check out the pump you know do all sorts of things so what I did was I just went to the pump which controls the front and the rear wiper fluid and uh, I just switched the hoses because the rear wiper fluid seems to work just fine. So now this uh, handle, you turn it backwards to hit the rear wiper fluid, but instead it sprays on the front. So that uh, that issue was fixed, but then I, I keep driving down the road. So yeah, 241,000 miles. So I would be driving down the road, the wipers would just come on and they would stay on and you couldn't shut them off and it got really bad. I was running out of wiper fluid all the time. So here's what I did. Um, I wanted to put a switch in the, the actual power line going to the wiper motor. And uh, I could have, what I could have done is gone to the motor itself, cut the wire, uh, ran two wires into the car, put a switch somewhere, then ran it back out there. Anyone who's installed car stereos knows it's sometimes it can be a pain in the butt to get wires through the firewall. Sometimes I didn't feel like putting that kind of time and effort into this quick fix. So here's what I did. So I come inside, come inside the car over here in the passenger footwell is your fuse panel. Pop that off. Let's take a look at it. Fuse number 25, look on the right hand side there, come down, it's for your wiper, it's a 25 amp fuse. And you look it up top, 25 is in the bottom row, fourth one from the right. So I took that out and uh, that's the that supplies the power to the wipers. So what I did is I took some, took some wire, took some spade connectors, stuck them in my fuse panel. Then ran the wires over here because Toyota's awesome. They put these little cutouts so you can throw switches in. This right one here is for my uh, my light bar in the front. But I just put in this switch on the left here. So this will actually kill power to the wiper motor altogether. So the wipers won't run unless that switch is flipped up. Um, now I didn't I I didn't make it. Uh, too dangerous. There is a there is still a 25 amp fuse in that line because uh, you you really don't want to run a circle without being fused. It's a bad idea. So and it actually works. So I'll turn the key on. You see right now the switch is in the off position. So 
doesn't do anything at all. Well, I can still, I can still turn the rear wiper on. But, no front. So then I flip this little switch on. I got wipers. And this is what it would do. You would drive down the road, and it could be a sunny day. They don't stop. They keep going and going and going until you flip that switch off. So, that was my fix. Uh, looks pretty clean. The next thing you're going to see is a... Uh, there's going to be a momentary switch, probably somewhere in this vicinity, that uh, one day this summer gets warmer out, we're going to dive into the front washer fluid. I uh, might try putting a new washer pump in there. I don't think that's going to be the problem, but we might try that. I think they're only 20 bucks, and they're pretty easy to, to switch out. But otherwise, we're going to put a little momentary switch in there, and that way we have front and rear washer fluid. And... Uh, yeah, so that's it. I am a, really a function over form, especially with this car. The car doesn't owe me anything, and I'm not going to spend too much time uh, or money fixing it. As long as it works, it works. doesn't matter what it looks like, at least with, for this car. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have any questions, comments, concerns? I want to tell you my car is dirty. A lot of people do. Go ahead and do that in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.